Oh, that thing's oh, terrifying. Start streaming. Wait, what the hell? It didn't ask me what I wanted it. To... Oh, fuck. Give me a second. Totally not recording. Right. No, it's... It's, um... It's totally. Oh, fucking hell, man. Uh, what? Edit stream info. Here we go. Monster Hunter in review. Oh, nice. I've, uh, no, I haven't. I've been waiting no. for it to be cheap enough to buy. Because I'm not spending $80 hey, uh, on a Crash Bandicoot game. PS5 version just came out today, so I, I've I'm like yep. two weeks overdue from the library with it. So I'm, I was just waiting for this moment to <laughs> install it and, and see what it looks like at least on PS5. Good old library. Library. Um. Face is red as a strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> One second. Fuck Old Scrubs there, joke. You guys watch Scrubs? There's there's yeah, a real TV yeah, show. Yeah, I watch Scrubs all right. Yes. Damn Scrubs. Right. Damn right you both did. Damn right you, <laughs> damn right you did, you, you pricks. Yep. All right. Um, all right. Let me just make sure. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, welcome to, uh, the long-awaited, <laughs> uh, Joysticks Canada. We're, we're talking Monster Hunter. We're talking Blockbuster Flop Monster Hunter. Oh, you'll see in a second. Um, yes, the 2020 Masterpiece, um... Directed by uh, a certain Paul W.S. Anderson, who uh, you may know from a number of other video game adaptations, um, such as, uh, well, he he helped write a bunch. Um, he also uh, did direct Mortal Kombat, the original, original, original Mortal Kombat. Yeah, did Mortal Kombat. Resident Evil, which I think everyone may have at least attempted to watch sit through um i think he actually i think he directed all of the resident evil movies at least a few of them at least like god i can't even remember how many resident evil movies there were now i know i know i only ever watched the first one and that was kind of enough three i think i think there's three or four resident evil resident evil afterlife resident evil retribution and resident evil the final chapter bloody hell oh. So there's four. There's four monsters. There's four Resident Evil movies. Um, yeah, I would not say he's known for the best quality movies, but that being said, I don't know. Is it four? Four. The Resident I think there's Evil. There's more. Movies. You know what? There could be. There could be. Who knows? I think there's that's six. That series kind of just went off the rails and disappeared for me. I, I, I actually didn't mind the first one. It was fun. I was like, oh, because back then, remember, it was like, yeah, it came out uh, 2002, the res first Resident Evil movie. It was like, and back then mm -hmm. it was a video game movie. It was like, oh, my God, video games on them, you know, in the movie theater. This is cool. Hey, that's Claire Redfield or whatever her name was. I'm like, that's that's neat. Uh, oh, no, but it's nowadays, seven. Nowadays, oh, my God, there's seven of them? Are you serious? Seven. Seven? <laughs> yeah, so Come there's on. Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident Evil Extinction, Resident Evil Afterlife. Retribution, Resident Evil, the final chapter, and then Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. That's actually the seventh one that is coming up this year. Oh, come on. I don't want to watch any of those. <laughs> uh, apparently Lord. in May, there was an update. I don't know. No. Mm. Nope. Mm. Um, in... But yeah. yeah, so the the masterpiece that we're discussing today <laughs> um stars one of the actresses from i think every one of those resident evil movies mila mila jovovich um Jovovich. 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 um 
that Janovic. one. Who is uh, obviously uh, no, known for her fifth element role. Lilu Dallas, multipass. Um, <laughs> I, oh, man, she... Okay, can I just get this out of the way? She was really fucking bad in this movie. She wasn't great until the second half when she kind of got through the like, like army Rambo piece. That that I, shit I was, was terrible. That that okay. So, it. I'll just jump right into this. the The dialogue in this movie was just fucking awful. Like the all of the dialogue in the whole movie, at least the English speaking dialogue. Was yeah. just terrible. All of it was bad, and she was. Oh Jesus Christ, she was. And I, I have a, it, I a lot of it had to do with like her just being forced to sp say the words that she was being forced to say. Like, there's no good yeah. way to deliver some of those lines. It yeah. was just like, holy shit, we're soldiers and we have to fight. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It was. Oh my god. It was. Yeah, it was painful at some points. It was, oh, but all of yeah, all of the soldier like rah rah kind of shit back and forth was pretty yeah, piss poor. Uh, whatever that first half hour, whatever like the four of them chatting it out, like it was uh, honestly not I not what I wanted from the movie. Not what I took away from the movie. I forgot about it. The I forgot there were words in this movie up until you just mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that I I'm recalling the words, they were not good words, but that's not what I took away from the movie. So I think that says something to like the overall package, but yeah. or, or package, I think is the French. Package. Um, <laughs> yeah. The dialogue yes, it was lackluster for sure. There could what have are been you talking about? Are you talking better about bills. Monster Hunter? Yeah, we're oh, talking about Monster Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome Hello, Dick. The... I loved it. Awesome movie. <laughs> 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 so the peppering in of like Diablos was great. I didn't mind that and that's the thing. Like when when the best actor, when the best actor in your movie is Tony Jaw, I'm like you something's wrong. Was that Tony Jaw? It was. It was Tony Jaw from uh, order, order from Ong Bak. Yeah. Yes. And Ong Bak yes. was a really good. I fucking loved oh. Ong. I don't. Th I don't know anyone that didn't like Ong Bak. Like it. I want to watch Ong Bak again. Right. That was. Now, that was kind of. Right over there and watch it. So that, those fight that, scenes with him were fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, so, any almost, was, almost any scene with him, almost any scene with him was fun. It might not have been yeah. great, but it was a lot of fun. Like his 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 face. He was like getting all into everything. I'm like, okay, this is this is goofy shit, but I love it. It's it's fun. Um, made yeah. you suspend your belief for a while that you could actually get a little bit more immersed in that movie. Yeah, but the whole the whole spoiler alert, like the whole plot when there are marines that get transported from our world into this other reality. I'm like that that didn't exist in any of the lineage of the games beforehand. Like, so I don't know why they added this as part of the plot for the movie. It didn't really make sense because they had no plot to begin with in order to introduce. <laughs> yeah. That they had no way to bridge. It's like introducing a D and D game into a movie without actually introducing the realm. Like it was a way to break the need to create this backstory of relevant information that a viewer would then say, "Oh, hey, okay, that's great. This is what's happening now." It's like Lord of the Rings without the very beginning hour of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. It's like a way of pressing fast forward through a lot of that. Oh, totally. uh, environment building, character building, and whatnot. Let's let's get right to the action, which is where I think they wanted to make the most of that. That's right. the money maker for this movie. It's all the I, I action. I love the fact. Yeah, and those I love the, But I also love the fact that they didn't actually like between Tony Jaa and uh, uh, Mila Jovovich. Yeah, they didn't actually have to talk. The, like there was really no dialogue because they didn't understand each other's language. It was, yeah, it's smart that they were like, "Oh, don't worry about, don't worry about dialogue." <laughs> 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 they can't talk, the, anyways. The the funny scene uh, is when they finally escape and they made it to the uh, the oasis, and she goes up to get the water, and the thing jumps out to get her, <laughs> yeah, and, and he's like, he goes, hey, hey. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, what an asshole!" That was that was hilarious. <laughs> it was really good. But yeah, yeah, so like, okay, so dialogue, pretty dog shit most of the, like, almost the entire movie. Yeah. Um, but holy shit, man, that, 
Diablos monster? That thing was fucking cool. It was spot on with games too, man. Like, it looked it looked awesome. I was I was actually shocked how like good it looked. I was expecting yeah. it to be well, I was expecting it to be a video game movie monster and it did it was not. It was like, holy shit, this is like on par with Mandalorian, like and even the blown off horn after yeah, the first fuck. dude like dropped the grenades and stuff like in then in later scenes it's just like that part of the horn is blown off. It's yeah. Like, oh yeah, all right, that's cool. Like that shit Continuity. looks that shit was looks awesome, man. Key. Yeah, it's good. And like the, the dragon at the end was fucking. Oh my god, that's the two of them actually like so the bearded dragon at the very very end, but the first one that was that they were fighting was super yeah. cool too. Yeah, that sounds Rat, wild, Rat, man. Rat something or other, I can't remember. What yeah, called. but like those scenes, they were like you know broad daylight, like super detailed. It wasn't like yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like they cheaped out or anything. Oh, like, this, you the could scene see where they're in. Yeah, the the scene where they're in the um, the spider mine or whatever oh. it was, and he <laughs> rescues her her guy, and he lifts up the shirt and that he's was got all these fucking things on disgusting. Him. Oh, yeah. I, uh, Fuck Aiden, those Aiden was gross. beside me, and I went like this all up his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I watched it with Evan. I watched it with Evan. He's eight. He's eight, and he watched it with me, and he he was like glued to it the whole time. He he was not like I was expecting him to be creeped out at some point, especially when she woke up in like that disgusting sack, like hanging upside down, yeah, surrounded so by creepy. like bones and spines and like other people's dead bodies. I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, maybe this isn't appropriate for my eight year old son. But he didn't give a shit. He's like, oh whoa, look at that, cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey daddy, I don't think I don't think he's alive. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> He he's, he, he's, now, he's 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 very he's likely not. traumatized now, but still, he he didn't seem to he didn't seem to be yeah. flinched at all. So, you got to get him to watch Maze Runner now. Oh God! Yes, yeah, as long as he's not like waking up in the middle of the night screaming. <laughs> wait, what was no, wrong he's... with Maze Runner? I like. Yeah, wait. The, the, yeah, the first Maze Runner was fine. Yeah, it was fine. It, it was only the scene where they they go in and it's like that weird creepy crawly thing uh, as it's chasing them through yeah. whatever that room is. Yeah. Oh, I think I remember that one. I haven't. I've, yeah, I've, I've only watched the first Maze Runner, but yeah. I need to watch the other ones. I just saw that they're up on. It was good. They're Online they're not Disney? bad. They're yeah. they're not bad. They're not the worst movie in the world. It, it's kind of on par with Hunger Games in terms yeah. of story and drive and like character development. Like there's none almost, but you just kind of watch it for the fake. Uh, you know idea of what a dystopian world would look like right <laughs> right um, I read the book, so I oh yeah uh, yeah the, the books don't compare yeah yeah so okay so i have to say the uh the cat cook <laughs> that was good <laughs> oh that like, was so, someone someone like kind of spoiled it for me i didn't mind but someone was like oh the the cat the cat's in it that's the best part i was like oh, okay now now, now i gotta good. now i gotta make sure i look out for it yeah, and then as good. soon as I saw it, I was like, ah, there we go. Hold on. It was <laughs> like, perfect. And slice it. Yeah, yeah, the little thing. I was like, yep, right out of the game. That's fucking hilarious. They, yeah, I, I was shocked so at good. how much I was shocked at how much they actually did kind of talk like talk to the game or whatever, you know what I mean? Like there was uh uh like chopping off the spider's uh venom sack and stuff and using the thing for like okay, that's right out of the game. That's what you do in the game. And when she was like slicing off the, uh, the one uh, Diablos or whatever, she was slicing off like a scale from his, yeah, from his thing and like dragon. I was like, that's kind of basically like a thing from the game, like you taking parts of the monster and using them, right? That was really cool. Yeah, and the cool. grappling hook, the grappling hook was also yeah in the game as well. Cool. So you could just kind of whip around back and forth. So, so I watched that Monster Hunter Rise uh, IGN video review that you posted. Uh... John and like they've got this grappling hook thing going on like it's a rechargeable like energy grappling hook so is a grappling hook is like a thing in the series or yeah that, yeah. yeah in yeah not, I guess not in yeah. every game but in uh, the most recent ones it's been a, a recurring theme okay so yeah Mo monster hunter world which was like the big one that that was That's like weird. the That's first weird. real like western westernized version if you know what i mean mm -hmm. well not only so, that it was the first time that it was ever off of um a nintendo Play, playstation console. i think it was was it nintendo or playstation nintendo 
Nintendo? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe Nintendo. you're right. Monster Hunter? Yeah. yeah. What, are you, what are you talking about? Because the first time it was ever kind of introduced to other consoles. Well, it was on PlayStation at the beginning. Mm, like The original was... Monster Hunter was on PlayStation 2 back in 2004. Yeah, was, uh, um... Maybe. I don't know. I always thought it was a Nintendo product. Like the third generation was all Nintendo, and same with the fourth. But I think it was all it was all over the place. I'm just looking right oh, okay. now. It's yeah, it was uh, PlayStation Two. <clears throat> yeah, Monster Hunter One, Monster Hunter Two were both on PlayStation Two. Um, and they were like they were massive games in Japan, but they totally. never they never took off here at all. But then mm-hmm. Monster Monster Hunter World came out here on uh, PS4 and Xbox One. And that that was the one that like I think all of us got into at least for a little while. It was really good. It was a lot of fun, man. It was like it was totally different. It was I don't know for anyone that hasn't played the game, it's like quite literally like a big ass boss fight. Like every you 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 go out on contracts or whatever yeah. it's called and like you yeah. f- you the whole point is just to hunt down one monster, really, and to like salvage its parts and all that kind of crap to like take back to your camp and then use those parts to make better armor and weapons to go and do the same thing again to a stronger monster and just keep on doing that over and over and over again for, you know, 300 hours or whatever the hell the game is. Take the meats and you can make these, like, use the cat and make all those crazy kind of dishes as yeah. part of that too. Yeah. So you get these extra perks, some that are like frost resist or, or fire resist. Yeah, that was uh, the, yeah, that was the cool things. part. Yeah, you get like the fur or whatever, and you're like, oh, I need to go fight this like ice monster. I'm gonna put on my fur armor or whatever, and then you go and yeah. take off and you fight that. I'm like, this is really cool. So I, good. I man. like the idea of it. So I played the or I bought the 3D, the most recent 3DS one. Oh yeah, okay. Whatever one. Monster that Hunter was. Four. Yeah, and that was I actually just, a standalone yeah, game too. That was a standalone like. 3ds version of the game like it was like its own game yeah <clears throat> there was couldn't there was two it. yeah there was two that came out around the same time as monster, monster hunter 4 right there's the generations and then there's their monster hunter 4 ultimate yeah, so those were like yeah those were 2015 2016 yeah. i i remember reading about i remember reading the reviews for monster hunter on 3ds when it came out and it was, uh, yeah, it was like no one could believe that they managed to cram the game into that screen, mm-hmm. but like in a bad way, if you know what I mean. It's yeah. like that's kind of what it felt like. <clears> they were like, it was, like it, and... yeah, like people were impressed that the game even ran, but like that—that's about it. That was like kind of the only good thing they could talk about. It was like, <laughs> wow, they managed to cram this massive game into a tiny screen. Good for them. It sucks, but good for them. Yeah, it, it felt claustrophobic <laughs> in a way. Like, so that opening area, it's just like a big set of fields, and you're kind of like working your way down to there's this water, excuse me, like a river thing. And so I'm I'm getting there, but to your point, like, I'm both, I feel, I felt both claustrophobic. I'll never forget it. I felt both claustrophobic, like, it's just being like, wow, I can't fucking, I, there's no area here for me to move in. <laughs> and also, I can't fucking see anything because this area is too big and I yeah. can't see where I'm going next. I've never had like the dichotomy of those two feelings before playing a video game. <laughs> it's like, why is this happening to me? Yeah. Why did they yeah, do I, this? <laughs> I think it picked it up. It was uh, installed on my ex, and so he was. We watched the movie, and of course, it started with uh, watching um, uh, Fifth Element. But uh, he's been playing it on the X upstairs, and uh, I'm kind of like shit. But I we tried to log in, but every time I log in, it kicks him out. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's one of those games that you can only get so far going solo. You really oh have yeah, to be in a team. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't imagine yeah. playing that game solo. It's like even purely just for ha- be, having someone there to res you. That's it. Yeah. Because like yeah. if if you don't have anyone with you and you die, that's it. Done. Like you get kicked out. It's like, but if you have one, at least one other person, you have. A hundred percent better chance, basically, of of surviving and actually getting through it. Well, it, it certainly forces you to play a very different way of of attacking and running, and it, it, you're almost doing uh, really minimal amount of damage and then running away. And you, yeah, I mean, when you play that way, you're basically going in there with all your health buffs and every weapon that does maximum amount of DPS that you yep. could possibly handle and or 
status effects just to give you that upper edge. Especially if you're trying to farm a particular uh, part mm -hmm. that you want to break off that monster. So oh, yeah. like sometimes you're looking for a scale or you're looking for the claw or you're looking for the, the hide, right? Oh, yeah. And so if you're fighting anything big, like yeah. a Diablos, <laughs> where you were like, all right, I want that scale off that Diablos. It's, you're going to need the spear or, or some kind of knife that's going to do that instead of breaking out the war hammer and smashing it over the head, right? I remember, yeah, I remember doing that. Like we, we I think we all kind of had different uh, loadouts or whatever. Like we each had our kind of like our specialty and we, I remember tackling it differently and like, Okay, I need the tail from this thing, so don't, you know, go after the tail and that's it. And then you'd see the thing's tail just fall off and be like, sweet, let's go grab it. <laughs> the thing would take off and scurry into the bush and be like, I don't give a shit, I want that tail, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's good. The, the scope and scale of that game was really well done. Like, they did an exceptional job on uh, building kind of, you know, how you got to the island you are, you're following that giant monster really mm -hmm. right and uh mm -hmm. i mean they've had a couple of expansion packs i i was always kind of mad because i always viewed the the x as being the better version visually graphically performance wise but the playstation version got all of these exclusives right you oh, could be chung lee or you could be ryu you could be mega man and you had all these really cool skins and uh you could be uh uh who is it uh aloy from horizon zero and you, you'd have her loadout and her weapons yeah. and everything else and the xbox got nothing like aloy i get i get it that's a sony property but it's like come on capcom don't screw people over by like that's a that's pretty cheesy it's like i i get it if you want to be kratos or aloy it's like sure you know what do whatever you want but like at least let me be freaking i don't know master chief or like yeah i don't know <laughs> conquer <laughs> Let me be conquer, <laughs> running around with a you know yeah. minigun or something. Um. So yeah, earlier when I was saying box office bomb. Yeah. Um. So yeah, apparently this movie cost uh approximately sixty million dollars to make. Oh, that's it. Um. Doesn't seem like an awful lot. The uh, worldwide gross. This is the worldwide gross. Keep in mind, not just domestic, worldwide. It hasn't even made thirty million yet. Wow! So it's a it's a cert, um, it's a certified bomb. I'm wondering if that's due to theaters not being open. Oh yeah, it yeah. definitely does. It 100 yeah. percent does. But like, it, you know, how are they supposed to gauge? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they can even in, include streaming revenue or like paid we're, down, we're, paid we're downloads or whatever. Yeah. I yeah, don't that, even know who is streaming it. And that's the thing. It's like such a bizarre movie because it's, well, it, it's made by so many different companies and like so many different production people are like, there's, yeah, I don't, I, I, I honestly tried to find somewhere to watch it, like to stream it through any, any service at all. Couldn't find it. No, I don't think there is. I, so I love to. The only place that you can get it right now. Le like me. through legal channels is like it's you, a, a movie studio so you'd have to go on cineplex and rent it for the 4.99 uh, oh yeah it's on there or you can buy it for the 26.99 uh, for that version or you can go to you can probably go and get it on google movies or yeah someplace like that getting that cineplex has a fucking store now so really. but that's the thing is a lot of the, the new releases are going to be in that we've got an exclusive time window that we're going to hold on to these for try and get as much money as we can out of it whether it's through rental or whether it's through digital download and then we're going to say hey all the streaming platforms you can then start making your cut on whatever it is that you're going to get okay but i can't use my like <clears throat> fifteen thousand scene points that i have banked at this point to rent no. this fucking movie so fuck that like at, at that point like either you want like you got to clear out here it is actually i can use i can rent it yeah. No, I but I can't but, spend my points on it. So yeah, like at that point. Yeah, you I've got a ton of scene points, points too. That's and I'm so like, I would totally, I would totally use them to rent movies. A hundred percent, I would use them to rent movies. I see Wonder Woman's on here. I'd like to watch that. Yeah. So the the, the 
theaters are struggling, obviously. Like, if it was right. AMC, I'm sure they're doing the same thing, right? Saying, here, you can rent or you can buy the movie through us if you want to do that, or you can do through whatever other avenue. But it, it's going to be like that six-week window before mm-hmm. it becomes available on Prime or if it becomes available on Netflix or however long those studios want to hold on to it for to try and make a buck. Yeah, that's but if you're, if you're offering a perks program like Scene, you should be able to use your points to do that. That's it. It's disappointing, right? They're they're gonna have to all reevaluate their their models uh, this year. I mean, like it, it's honestly, I I don't know. Can they even survive two years without really having? I mean, think of the real estate costs that they're incurring. I think of like their downtown location that may be having. I mean, so what? They they open up in a red zone. So what? They can have what what fifty people in their biggest theater. I mean, like that's a joke. They'll lose right? they'll lose money on it because no one's. Oh, yeah. it's, it's huge, right? And so when you talk about box office, I mean, I think Tencent was actually be one of the producing companies behind mm-hmm. uh, Monster Hunter, and yep. that's a big Chinese brand. Yep. And you, you got to think. I mean, they're more or less open, but I mean, this is a westernized kind of movie and property. Yep. And the the reality is the trade issues with the U.S. and in China and globally, right? I mean, like that they're, they're going to be closing up shop with. All of these, nobody. It, it's going to be like, you know, anti anti Westernized culture again, all over. It, you know, so I mean, like, it, it comes as no surprise. I mean, China is a huge market when it comes to movies. Yep. Um, uh, even going as far back as what they re-released Avatar in the Chinese oh, dude, market that was, a couple of weeks ago. It made forty five million. Over. It made forty five million dollars or something in two weeks in China. Wow. Just to take wow. over. I was like, what? Grossing what movie. Hell? Because Endgame took it from them. <laughs> so what the theaters have been doing is saying, hey, if you want to rent out a theater, you can get 25 of your closest friends, spend 100 and 120 bucks, something like that. So you're spending like half the price that you would spend on a regular movie ticket with all of your friends going to have that nice exclusive experience like, or a private experience. It's it, it's. A nice model that they can do during the pandemic time, but at the same, I, I don't they know. That, that, they were doing that beforehand, though. I mean, the, you could bring your console, you could bring games, you'd be able to play it on the screen. Yep. I, I don't know, but the cost. I mean, a hundred and how much were you saying? It's a lot more than that. I think yeah. it was all, before, before, for, before COVID. It was a lot yes. more expensive. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. before so, COVID. Because right now, I think it's run. Don't quote me on the price, because I'm like, no, it, it is cheap. It is relatively cheap. I know it is. But it's half cheap. the cost of what it was before. Yeah. Um, so the, I think that's again they're trying to draw crowds of people back in, and you know they don't make money on the on the movie tickets anyways, or a very limited margin on the movie tickets. It's mostly all the that's sessions. Cheap. Every bit of concessions, that's where they make their huge margins on it. So thirteen dollars on a little bag of candy that I can buy from Walmart for two dollars. Right? <laughs> it's like markup is incredibly high. Three hundred percent, four hundred percent. So Oh yeah. Is yeah. there any fucking way to use my scene points on this fucking thing? <laughs> Rich is just like... the realm of possibility. <laughs> Richard's gone down Wait, the rabbit hole. Does anybody know? Okay. I don't know. So what you can do now, Richard, is take your scene points and put it towards the purchase of food at other restaurants that they're supporting so really like helpful i don't <laughs> so like swish la harvey's milestones kelsey's they're all part of that that circle right that machine. yeah they're yeah part of that machine so there are also the the vendors that you can go and when you pay for your food you can also get scene points from so it's like okay okay <laughs> I'm I'm trying to log into the Cineplex store. There we go. I just logged in. All right, let me just see if that changes. You know what though? That the reality is, once once we all have oh, single single shot vaccines, uh, and the markets kind of rebalance out again, I mean, like it's going to be a, a flood. Like I I have a hard time believing that there's going to be any sort of avenue that hasn't been hurt in one way or another that isn't going to see a massive resurgence in one way or another. Like, I, I, again, models are going to have to change a little bit, but, like, this yeah. time this year, once everything is said, like, this year is a write-off, right? Next year is going to be the, uh, the 2020 oh, redo, re- redo, right? <laughs> and, and we've said it again, like, the Roaring Twenties, and, you know, theaters, oh, yeah. concerts, uh, sporting events, all of these things are going to have such a 
a mainstream need because everybody has just got such high levels of uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome from being cooped up for so long, right? But it's true, man. I think and, th- and theaters will be right there with it, right? They'll benefit just like anything else. I don't know. I also think there's a, a, not as common. I, the, I, yeah, this, the, the other half of it is. Uh, the other part is going to be the other half, right? Is it's going to take a long time for people to feel comfortable to go back out into the yeah. theaters so, or to go back out. Nah, like, I don't it's, think so. So they, I agree. There's going to be like a good portion of the crowd that's going to go and rush to the theaters. And then there's going to be those people that are a little bit more reserved, a little bit more health conscious. And you'd be like, no, nah, no. Nah, you know anywhere. what? But at, at the end of this year, this is all endemic. I, it, this isn't going away. This is just going to be the new flu. It's just going to be a lot yeah. more viral. And it'll be endemic. And the sooner that people wrap their heads around it, that they either choose to get vaccinated or they don't. I mean, the first round of vaccination is going to cover you for the most part, but nobody knows how long it's going to last. So take it like however you want. But I, I for one, miss going to a 10 o'clock Sunday night movie when the theater is practically empty, walking in five minutes ahead, completely red eye from whatever it was that I had in the car. (laughs) Going to the concession stand, overpaying for my big thing of popcorn and a thing of water, and you know, sinking into a well lubed chair, and you know, enjoy. Well, when you put it that way, I can't that wait. sounds very oh, tempting. When you're when, you're, when your feet yeah. when your feet right stick to the floor. When, when my oh, wife says that, is like to suck. No weed. It smells like a skunk in here. Yeah, it smells oh, like yeah. Otto's jacket. Well, my, my feet this, this never stick because right they're they're leaning out on the chairs in front that are. are <laughs> There's no one there. Good. Oh, I fucking do that. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, my, god. I, I'm like sinking in. Yeah, my I'm just basically laying down as as much <laughs> as I can. So I I I like the theater experience for select movies, and okay. I will yeah, tell yeah. you that uh, Monster Hunter as a as a theatrical theatrical experience, I think would have been pretty enjoyable. Actually, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like with all the AVX, all AVX, yeah, it and would have been. And everything, it yeah, it would have been good. Fun. There's no way I'm going to see that on fucking IMAX. There's no way I'm spending the money to see a Monster Hunter IMAX. Well, that's it. No. So instead, I watched it, and I <laughs> wouldn't have paid. I would have used my. And, yeah, sorry. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't have paid, right? Because I have no affinity for the for the series or anything like that. But now, having watched it, I I, I would entertain the idea. But like I watched it on like a corner of my screen. I didn't even watch it on my home theater setup, so that's bad on me. What? But, well, I I tried to watch it as quickly as possible before today's show. <laughs> <laughs> so the setup was not ideal. I didn't have a ton of time. Um, but you know, that said, my home theater setup is pretty great. If you look at like the number of nits on um on an IMAX screen, I, I actually genuinely don't know what it is. But I suspect that what we're getting to with OLED is pretty close, if not, you know, exceeding in terms of brightness. Like, so some things yep. would be better, right? So, yeah, granted, AVX, like, the sound setup, my sound setup, shit. Like, it's, okay. I would have to invest in that for that to, to be worthwhile. But, you know, from a screen setup, I think you can probably get there pretty easily and relatively cheap. Oh, yeah. Unquote. Next generation of OLEDs are going to be right there, right yeah. there. Some of them are still a little, a little bit, a bit dim. So, so the difference, so the difference between because I have a pretty good sound system, and while I only have a sixty-five inch, I mean it was a pretty good TV for its day. the The reality is the theater experience is enough to fill my peripheral, right? Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it puts you in that experience and and one it gets me out of the house and two it's not even about audio fidelity because i can handle that <laughs> oh, yeah, okay <laughs> nice yeah 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 yeah, yeah and, no and nick I, you're I, right I it's to do it's... that right it's but it's it, it, it's oh. also an experience right you know what it and... is for me going to the movies though it's it's similar to you nick but it's it's also um, you're you're like you're forced. You're almost forced to pay attention to the movie. Yeah. In yeah. the in the theater, yeah. you have no choice. You can't go on your phone. You can't be like, oh fuck, the the baby's down here. I'm like, gotta put her back to bed. I'll be <laughs> back in 28 minutes when she finally falls asleep. I'm like, fuck no, screw that yeah. shit. I want to go to the movies and like do nothing but 
fucking just pig out on popcorn and stare at a screen for two hours and just be entertained. Like, that's all I want to do. You got it. It's two hours of relentless, I don't have to do anything else but what I'm actually doing at this moment in time. Yeah, yeah. that that cognitive break that you get by going to a movie is very relaxing. I love that experience as well, man. And honestly, this this movie, this Monster Hunter, man, I was like, it was it was more than entertaining enough the whole time where I was like never looking for my phone. I was never even like veering away from the screen. It was just constantly like, okay, this is cool. Like just there's always something happening at least that kept me entertained watching it the whole time. Like it was, it's it's definitely not what I would call a uh, a blockbuster, but a, well, no, it is a blockbuster. It's just not a it's not a uh, an Oscar contender or anything. But it's uh, it was <clears throat> yeah, it was certainly I don't know. It was it was fun enough. We 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 had a good time uh, exploring the idea of how many times certain characters were going to have to get hit or be tossed around before oh, they actually die. And it was just like, you know, after they land in the new universe, and they're like, "Where did all the sand come from?" And I'm like, "Are you guys supposed to be like seasoned marines?" Like, they were in the, a fucking desert when. Oh my god, it, the, the that driver, was yeah, that made no sense. Out. And it was just like, just shoot her. She's just dead weight. Just just yeah. offer like take her stuff. Take her <laughs> She's gear. dead She's weight. Died. Dead weight. And oh, she's whining that look. Her hair looked too good. Her so, eyebrows were too good. Like you're not in the military. You're just there for show. Like so, you barely made the cut. You're dead. And when they were talking like, about the Diablo showed up and like whacked its tail or hit them a couple of times and they went scurrying and flying. Like, that would real. kill them. That would kill them immediately, yeah, instantly. Uh, I was just like, do you think they're dead? And they get up and I'm like, no, apparently not. They're they're not dead. Apparently they're, they're, they're soldiers. Apparently, just yeah. like when they're like. This, this is there's glass here. And I'm like, yeah, it must have been pretty damn hot for there to be glass all in this sand, right? <sighs> well, and for getting like <laughs> in the back by by that poison bar by whatever the scurrying creatures were, she got it twice. And I'm oh, like, yeah, that, that like? was spiders, right? So that was supposed to be a neuro a neurotoxin. A neurotoxin. Or, yeah. So it's call to cause paralysis, not so much to and... kill them. It fucking took out the goddamn Diablos thing. No, it and didn't. She it, got it made it like, wobble, yeah, but she got it. stung like what twice by the same thing, and she was like, "I'm good. I'm only a hundred in the I'm... eye." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... <laughs> that's true. That's true. That, that was wild. Like it foamed white and mm. yellowy, and whatever, that's and kind cool. of and it was all blurry. I was, I was like, gonna... "What the fuck?" That was cool. I yeah. thought it was gonna lose its eye. I think that would have been a that would have been awesome. Yeah, or if it just kind of like seized up or something like. No. I don't know if the the monster biology is anywhere close to the human biology, but usually the optical nerve goes straight into the brain, so I, I kind of understand it's going to die a little bit faster with the, traveling up the nerve to the brain. But hey, who am I? I'm just a guy, and this is the movie. Hey. <laughs> the polygon, the polygons hey. don't get back there. Yeah, <laughs> the rendering doesn't. Not- how can I not get anything on this fucking store with these goddamn scene points? <laughs> Again with the scene points. The fucking worst. Two hours from now. Fucking scene points. Fucking scene points. God oh, damn it. That is hilarious. Um, Yeah, so one of the things that I did note was uh, I, I wanted to see how long it would take for someone to say above my pay grade. And it took, I think, eight and a half minutes. Eight and a half. If even, yeah, it was like the first thing. I was like, yeah, "Fuck, so there it funny. is, there it is." <laughs> so <laughs> stupid, worst fucking thing ever. Worst dial, worst, don't, worst dialogue ever. Don't understand. Don't the understand. worst fucking but dialogue. I swear to I'm God, glad, it was embarrassingly bad. I'm glad Ron Perlman made an appearance in this movie. Oh Jesus, he's ridiculous. There's... Like I love Ron Perlman to bits. He's hilarious, but like. God damn it! It could have man. been anybody. Like this, this it whole could have been anybody. He looked oh, ridiculous. True, but... He looked ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Come on, that hair, perfect. Or just well, fluff, even, fluff, even, fluff. even the opening scene was neat. The way they, they I liked were it. Yeah, it's over start... the sand and yeah, that sold it for me immediately. It was like, okay, this is pretty interesting. And Evan was like, what the heck? Are they on sand? I'm like, I, I think so. I guess I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. And yeah, th- that was. Uh, it started off with like a bang. It was it was pretty cool. Well, and the the guy uh, Tony Jaa, he must have been trapped on that island uh, in the sand for quite some time because I mean, like he had he built a fucking himself, base. 
Yeah, he built himself the base, and and of course he uh, the all the boats that were stranded off that one point, right? So it would have had he, he would have had good raw materials and stuff like that. But yeah. it was just like it didn't make any sense. It's like why would there be so many boats there? It's not That's like the sea is moving that you would have a difficult time, or unless the Diablos, you know, that was their territory, and of course they would beat you up to the point of which your boat would naturally drift there. Dude, I, I don't they 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 works. don't they didn't explain like anything basically like yeah how is that boat like, how is that boat traversing over sand no idea how what the fuck are the stones that started to glow no idea no zero they don't explain like, no. any the, the, what, tower, what, the tower the tower yeah the, the tower. tower what the fuck is it what the hell is it why is it so, there no, no idea so, so in case anyone doesn't know or care but anyway spoiler alert like. Big spoiler. We're gonna What's we're gonna spoil thing? the end of the movie. Like, oh, there clearly no they're ending. gonna make they're gonna make a second movie. Like, you think? You like, think? No, I, I hope not. I hope not. You think I that? Hope so. I'm, I'm no, the way the, movie. the way that I, this this movie made no money, it lost a yeah. ton of money. There's no way there's gonna be another one. There, there's no way they're gonna make a new movie. But but I there's gonna be guys. there's gonna be five <laughs> Sonics <laughs> long before there's a second one. That's true. Which I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with it. I haven't seen Sonic. I mean, I'd be oh happy come on, Richard! Movie, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Jesus Christ! Do I need to make a list? <laughs> I, Do I need to make a list, Richard? Probably, Holy yeah, shit, yeah probably. How? I don't understand. For how for do you what access? I, I don't even know where to get access to it currently. I now saw it in the I theater have, with with my two oldest, and we all loved it. It was so. When good. did it come out? It came out R A R B G dot T O. Hang on a sec. I am. I'm in utter shock. I'm in utter shock. <laughs> oh, the, forget that. I, I watched it on popcorn time a bunch of times. I mean, like, okay, you can oh, get it Sonic on is, Prime. Sonic is I don't such know a good movie. Is. You can get it on Prime. You can get it on Netflix. You can get it. Can you get it on Prime? Perfect. And Netflix? I don't I, think so. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get it on Prime. I, or on... Might, it might be gone on Prime. Sonic is on one of the big ones. Did not Disney Plus? Never mind. I mean, it's on, it's on one of them. It's on one of them. Anyways. I'll watch it. I promise. It's been amazing. It. Sonic's actually legitimately an amazing movie. I love yeah. it. It's a good movie. They and I wasn't sure about um, Jim Carrey, but honestly, he did a pretty he good. I, honestly, I can't now he that I, now that off. he's been in that as Doctor Robotnik. I'm like, I actually can't imagine anyone else playing that role now. Yeah, I'm like, and I, it's funny he he evolves over a period of time too well, right? he had he had so much fun doing it. you can tell he was just being an idiot and like having fun it was so sonic cool. yeah. is available on prime there yeah it's go. not on it Netflix. is okay all right cool yeah prime, yeah but prime like to rent or own or here let me look and by the way um uh, it's monster no. monster hunter is on amazon prime it's included to, with to prime. rent so to rent oh to rent okay yeah Honestly, if you don't care about renting or doing any of these, honestly, install an app called Popcorn Time. It's basically just a streamable <laughs> torrent. For, I, I run it behind. The, end? the huh? opinions expressed <laughs> by the individuals by, on the so, I mean, like, whatever. You need to look at of any type. <laughs> so there's a new, there's a new <laughs> Stephen King stand? Stand. The stand. Which Is one? The old one? New one? The brand new one. one. The mini series, right? Yeah, there's I don't a know. brand new. I have no idea. Series. I just logged into Amazon Prime for the first time in yes. forever. So there's a brand new The Stand mini, like series. Good? Not oh, not I as like good as the No, it's one. apparently terrible. The the yeah. M O O N spells toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, That sucks. Okay. All right, fine. Um, that's so, a, guys, I was in coach, right? Oh, oh yeah, he was in coach. Yeah. Jesus Christ! So let's do this. Let's do a. Uh, let's give uh, one our our one favorite thing and our one least favorite thing about this movie, and give it a uh, give it a one, uh, one through one five, five dragon tales. One, one through five, yeah, dragon tails. <laughs> Here, dragon I'll go. Oh, scales. Drag, oh yeah, dragon scales. Dragon there we go. Scales. Dragon scales. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Um, I, I can go first. Yeah, go, Richard. All right. So I, my, one of my favorite things was the, um, the animation of yeah that Diablo, and just the the look of that monster was like, I should play a Monster Hunter game like that. That motivated <laughs> me into being like, 
Okay. All right. I'm I'm down for like some epic monster takedowns. Um, yeah. The the thing I kind of liked the least was just um, the the lack of any kind of meaningful explanations to the world. As someone coming to this again, I have no background or context for any of the series. So, you know, I, I took it for what it was, which was just kind of like turn your brain off and enjoy this bunch of flashing lights on the screen. Um, so yeah, it was a good, a good solid four for me in terms of like an action movie you can turn your brain off and enjoy. Yeah, fair enough. Take it away, team. What was your what was your your uh, dragon scales? Your uh, four, four, four dragon four, scales. Four four out of dragon five. scales out of five. <laughs> out of, yeah, out of five uh, out of... Diablo horns. Nice. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> three three uh, three it's knuckles to the ram's head. I was like, wait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'll go next. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of the same thing. It was like the, it was just it was really just the 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 monster design itself and the fact that i was like surprised how good the movie just looked overall like it was not so much the direction per se but just like everything looked legit it looked like it was i i i, I wasn't like oh man that looks that's some really shitty looking cg like i never once even thought that it was like well wow, this is surprisingly good this looks awesome the yeah the monster designs are amazing the spiders looked freaky as hell the, the diablos was amazing that that the first dragon not the second dragon because you only see the second one for like a little yeah. bit but the first one was fucking it was, it was awesome it's like one of the uh, better dragons i think i've ever seen rathlios right right yeah Ra rathios rathlios um, whatever rathos or something like that I, that looks it's actually it's actually in the game yeah yeah so like they they looked legit, and it was it was like I was saying before, like it wasn't like they they weren't at nighttime, they weren't just like flash cuts of them. It was like no, no, it was full on like full on. big ass shots of these yeah. monsters with like you could see everything. It was, they couldn't hide any imperfections. It was like no, 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 this is we actually spent. You could tell that's where they spent all their money. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, they they decided to not hire anyone that knew how to write a story, so. The dialogue was just fucking dog shit. The so Mila Jovovich, she was actually okay as long as she was just talking with Tony Jaws character, like the two of them together. All of their back and forth banter was kind of like cheesy, but it was fine. It was kind of fun. But yeah, the stuff with her and her army buddies, holy god, that was terrible. It was so bad. Like, yeah. Anyways, so that would that I would probably give it like. If I had to, I'd probably give it like a three out of five because it's like, it's still it's still a positive review. It's still above fifty percent. It still <laughs> it still means eh, maybe yeah, give it a watch if you have some time. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'll go. Uh, you know what? I I think there there's enough redeemable quality about this movie that would stop me from ever watching it again but at the same time it hasn't stopped me from talking about it i i think much like everybody else i, I think there's bits and pieces of it that you take away that were probably good i mean for the monster design i was kind of eh, i was okay about it um the diabolus was good but at the same time you know there were bits and pieces of it i didn't really enjoy i think the the spider scorpion creatures were far more intriguing uh, in terms of their scale, and of course, they're trapped inside of this little hut that Tony Jaa is mm. able to whip together before he was able to die from these creatures, mm. amazingly enough. Um, I, I thought the interplay between uh, Jovovich and Tony Jaa was probably the best part, and, and while I agree it was kind of cheesy, it, you're able to kind of separate yourself because they really couldn't have any sort of dialogue, so you're fighting with whatever he was trying to say, and in her interpretation of it, like the whole scene with chocolate, that was funny as hell. That was hilarious. Yeah. Um, He's like, where's you know, more? More? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I don't fucking chocolate. have any more. Relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the alcohol is like chocolate. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chocolate like, really. No, is, but you know, okay. Means good. <laughs> good. It means good, right? That was um, a good running gag. I like that one. That's yeah, yeah. Actually, that was pretty good. 
And, and them kind of using themselves as a bit of a bait, right? And, of course, we had talked about it already where she <laughs> runs to the water and he, he uses her as bait. And, he, and she's like, you know what? Next time you're dying, remind me to uh, not save you, jackass, right? Uh, you know, the, the conversations between her and her military team, you could clearly see they didn't have any sort of consultation with any sort of military intelligence oh, whatsoever. Uh, they they could have read any number of books and gotten enough out of a simple book to have probably backfilled that out a lot better. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they I think the battles were pretty good. I, I thought that was pretty enjoyable. I think the the change of weapons were you know actually probably an overlooked aspect because you see Tony Shaw using an arrow at the beginning, yep. and then you see him using one of the big uh, bone swords. And then you see him near the end using the the spear, right? Yep. I don't think I saw anybody using the hammer, but then she was using the double blade. The yeah, that blade. was cool. She, and I yeah. liked how she was like, "Whoa, what the hell!" Like when they actually like caught on fire. She's like, "What oh, the, yeah, what the fuck like, is ah. that?" Yeah, what the hell? You can tell that. me they did you that. Gotta tell me when that happened. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty interesting. I was like, "All right, I kind of like that." Yeah, so I mean, like th- there were bits and pieces of it too. Uh, so I mean, I I think I would give it a solid three. Yeah. I, I couldn't give it any more than that only because I think they're just like the aspects of the military. Like again, the driver, like honestly, how are you driving? This is unless you, this is your first mission that you miraculously got <laughs> shafted on for the Rangers it, with the Ranger squad of all the squads, you know, yeah. elite squad, uh, you know, how are you doing this type of thing? And I was just like, Oh, this is awful. So the minute they all died was great. The scene, my favorite scene between, you know, her being used as bait is her, uh, the other guy uh, had all the spider eggs on yeah. him type of thing. I thought that was fabulous. I mean, what, when what he died, when he died, I felt nothing for him. I was like, that's crazy gross. Oh, well, let's keep going. Like I had, yeah, I had, I didn't care at all. And like. I don't think you were supposed to. I think I it was know, maybe not, but like for like, like, no, like clutching yourself up on the hill and everything at the end. Sh- like, okay, I feel bad for you, but like you- like her, I felt kind of bad for. But like with him, like you should feel some sort of. Eh. But I well, felt e- I e- felt e- nothing. I was like, oh well. Next, e- even the sensitivity the spiders had to like daylight and stuff like that to give a a, a reason why they weren't out in the sun type of thing was kind of yeah. neat. I mean, they did a good job kind of exploring. You know the fact that ho- that whole area is essentially hollow. That was cool. The spiders, yeah, like seeing the sun. I was like, oh, cool. That's really yeah. Cool. Their lair, <clears throat> yeah. They could, yeah. They could come up. With, yeah. I, I I hope they never produce another one of these. Um, but it it also makes me have high hopes for the new D and D movie that's coming out. Uh, in the hopes that they see this and kind of go, oh, this did really shitty. Well, how do we compare our movie against this? Oh, it's pretty much the same. We should probably fix that. <laughs> yeah. Man, the reviews for Monster Hunter Rise are good. Nice. The game, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the game. Yeah. What's your... Uh, you gave it a 3 out of 5 there, right? Nick? Yeah, 3 out of 5. So what did I like? I like the action. I like the way that the monsters were created. I like a lot of the nods and... Um, the link back to the game, right? It, that really resonated well. Because mm-hmm. it... <clears throat> having grown up playing the games and then having uh, played the games most recently, yes, I loved seeing all of those those nods back to the Monster Hunter world. Uh, what I didn't like was that, and we've all mentioned it, the plot. Like, what? I, I don't, I don't how I don't know how we got here. There was a, there that was makes a plot? sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I understand. It may have actually been better if they didn't even try. Mm-hmm. Right. They just said. You just got your. You just woke up one day and you're here. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The right. army guys just wake up in the new world. They're like, like "Where are we?" It's like, uh, Where are "This we? is better. This is better." Right. <laughs> no background, no history, no nothing to tell me that this is the environment that we're in and this is why it is the way that it is. And yeah, the characters, right? So, like, okay, being that it, they kind of short circuited the the start of that story, I was like, "All right, I'm willing to." live with that and then see how the rest of it plays out and it was enjoyable it was enjoyable to watch the rest of it because like all those fight scenes were fantastic and then seeing you know Belina and Tony and uh, Ron Perlman some recognizable faces 
did kind of resonate well because they all come from that that monster background, so they they know what they're doing. They don't really they're not like dropped in and then just like walking around aimlessly or don't know how to react right with the environment that's going on there. So I felt that they kind of stood on their own and so. But it's a solid three out of five. I gotta say, three out of five. It's funny because, I mean, you're talking about, you kind of mentioned something that, you know, they all come from a monster movie-ish background, right? Yeah. And But if you think of some of the other support cast that they had, like all of the other crew that Perlman oh. had on his boat, for, forget about the fact that clearly this is not the first time he's seen visitors from another dimension because he speaks absolutely perfect English, but nobody absolutely. else does. Yeah, and, I'm like, what? And no accent. I love either. how I love how they explain that, too. I'm like, Whatever, um, fuck's sake. Yeah, and you know, but then that you is... can clearly see there's continuity in a relationship between all of the other characters on his boat, but they have absolutely no backstory. They're nothing more than fodder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, there's well, like I always say, there's no emotional attachment to a good seventy five percent of the characters that are there. They're like, oh, dude, they I could. Oof, go up and they're there to die. They're yeah. there to die in the most mysterious and miraculous ways. Cannon yes. fodder. Um. So yeah, that's uh, that's Monster Hunter in a nutshell. Um, I don't know. I I don't know if I can recommend it. It's I don't know if you've got two hours to kill and and love the games. It's definitely worth watching. I mean, I, if, if you I, look. Yeah, but... Games and I and I enjoyed it, so oh, like, I'm, I, I'd say go either way. Well, I'm saying if you like, if you love the games, then it's a definite watch. Like, definitely sure. watch it because it's you won't, you know, it'll it, you'll enjoy it. If yeah. you if you just like video games and know of Monster Hunter, it's worth, you know, it's it. I and your I friends know. run a podcast. I'm kind of I'm kind of like this. Two hours, then yeah, okay, you should probably. Yeah. Hey, it's no Tomb Raider, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I, it's it's kind of like a you can take it or leave it, right? Like if you like monster movies, if you like game movies, sure, check it out. It might be worth your two the, hours. Yeah. Might not. The monsters are. I think everyone can agree that the monsters were actually surprisingly cool in this movie. Like they were shockingly well animated. They looked awesome. Like I, I don't know. I thought they looked amazing. But is it the must see movie of the year? Far from. What do you mean? I mean, what else do I have to do with my time, really? I mean, that's a that's a Watch ringing Sonic endorsement. Hedgehog, that's a apparently. ringing endorsement. What yeah, else do I, I have to do? I my watch list on Amazon Prime, so I'm good to go. That should be on the box art for the Monster Hunter DVD. What what else are you gonna do? <laughs> you. So, Co- you COVID, right? <laughs> like Dude, that's what it says. <laughs> Am I, I guess, right? <laughs> uh, two podcasts from now, you better have watched that movie because we're going to have to do uh, a Sonic and review. I can do a Sonic and review. I'll, I'll watch it before. Yeah, without the well, without thread of podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> the next one that we have to do for this, for sure, is going to be the new Mortal Kombat movie. There's a new Mortal Kombat? I'm so in yeah. touch. Yes, it yeah, was, April oh, April sixteenth, I believe oh, it is. Like they didn't push the date. They didn't. I thought they'd push the date, but I, maybe I was mistaken. I still see April sixteenth, so I'm nice. I'm holding out hope. That should be good. And it is. Oh, I can't wait, man. It's I. It's I not hope as, it's cheesy. It's gonna be cheesy. It's gonna be gory, but not as gory as the games. Or at least everything that I've read so far is said. I don't know, man. The games far. Outweigh the oh, the game is the game's fucked. Yeah. The oh, game the, is like the nauseating. Yeah. It's the insane. Scenes in the games, like you're not going to be able dude. to replicate that in a movie, right? So, yeah. some of the like, fatalities in the game are literally stomach draining. Like they're fucked. Like the Mortal Kombat yep. 11, especially. I'm like, oh my god, yeah, messed up. I don't recognize a single one of these actors, which is actually probably a good thing for MK11. Yeah. Or sorry for the for the movie. Yeah. Come on, come on. No. no, they're all they're all uh, no names, that? dude. Except for I think Shang Tsung is the same it's guy that Shang Tsung. The... Yeah, it's the same guy. Yeah, but he, even then, I'm like, I don't know his name. I can't remember. No, I think I, I, I've never seen him outside of anything but Mortal Kombat. So yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so we'll do this again. Uh, come on, Hiroyuki. Hiroyuki is the guy who's going to play Hanzo, Ooh. and Hiroyuki is like probably one of the most famous Japanese 
actors exhibited a ton of stuff, dude. You're just making. Man, I'm names. bad with yeah. I'm like, bad with count. I'm bad with names, man. If you I mean, show well, me a he, face, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I've seen him in a bunch of. stuff. His name is not. So I'm just looking at like the. I'm not even on IMDb. Maybe I should go on to IMDb. I'm just on Google, and I'm not recognizing anyone. But oh yeah, here you go. Oh yeah, okay, I know him. So yeah, yeah Monster Hunter. Uh, watch it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a waste. It's not a waste of two <laughs> hours. I think if we average out, it's what? It's a 3.5 it, out of 5? Yeah. Is it a must watch? No. But no. It's, well, it's, it's, no. you're not going to, it's not a waste of time. That's that's what we'll say. All right. I, right. Was, I was the one four. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Richard did give it a four, and uh, well, the three of us gave it threes. So it's like a 3.3 3 out of 3. 5 or 3.2. Yeah, so it's not a ringing endorsement, but it's, yeah. it's still better than average, you know. So, yeah. Uh, that's that. That's that and that. Um, as Al Swearingen would say, uh, we will be back sometime. I've seen Deadwood. That one I've, I've done. I did Deadwood. Jesus Christ. Okay, I've seen Deadwood. Time. God damn it. Okay. Uh, we'll see you later, guys. Peace. <laughs>